Dan Coten, Football, Class of 2002. Coten made his mark as the center on BC's strong offensive line before moving on to start for the New England Patriots. He was a three-year starter for the Eagles and head coach Tom O'Brien from 1998 through 2002. He earned all-conference honors in each of his final three collegiate seasons and helped pave the way for BC attacks that featured a 1,000-yard rusher each year. He was named to the 2001 Remington Trophy watch list as a junior and was a 2002 finalist for the award, presented annually to the top center in college football. He went on to a 10-year NFL career, highlighted by two Super Bowl championships with the New England Patriots and a Pro Bowl selection in 2007. Coton, who was named to the Patriots All-Decade team, currently works for ComcastSports.net as a football analyst. Dan Coton. One of the things that I really wanted to get across was you guys have done so much to help us be where we are and where we aspire to be. Uh, your efforts and your excellence, uh, we stand, the current student athletes stand on your shoulders and that's what we aspire to be. I want to thank uh, my old coaches, Coach O'Shea's in the building. He's the guy that actually recruited me. He was in my living room at the home visit telling me all kind of stuff, whatever I wanted to hear, but it was all true and um, we had a great time together. Truly honored and, and very humbled to be you know, here tonight receiving this, uh, this gift from Boston College. I think it's times like these when you reflect back, you know, and, and I reflect back on some of the decisions that, that brought me to Boston College in the first place, and it was uh, the greatest decision I ever made in my life. And it gave me the gift of, of relationships and friendships. Uh, some of the most important people in my life were relationships that started right here. Uh, my time at Boston College. November 23rd, 1984, three things happened that day. John Joyce turned 14 years old, uh, Doug Flutie threw that pass, and I decided Boston College was where I wanted to go. First time I stepped onto Boston College's campus was like getting hit by a bolt of lightning. I have a deep, deep love for this school, and the friendships that I've made over the years, or over those two years that I was here, have lasted me a, a lifetime. My high school coach gave me a great piece of advice. Take football out of it. Go where you're comfortable. And that was BC for me. And tonight I've never felt more always an eagle. I feel it tonight. When I got here, it was my teammates. It was my coaches, Coach O'Brien. I have the privilege of going in with a great, co great coach. And, you know, people think it's, it's tough to play for Bill Belichick. You want to play for that guy? I, 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 I don't. <laughs> it's important to recognize and say thank you to the Boston College Varsity Club. It's an honor to come back to BC and represent my family, teammates, and coaches as a member of this year's Hall of Fame class. I will always remember how proud I was to wear Boston College across my chest and what it felt like to receive my varsity letter. The letter represents an honor that takes hard work and commitment in the classroom and on the field. I followed a teammate, Lisa Tulamary, to Boston College. I spent a weekend here with her and fell in love with it, same as Billy Guerin. I knew this was the place for me. When I came, as the video mentioned, we were a club team my first two years, but the school treated us great. We had access to the varsity weight room, the varsity trainers, and they did our hockey laundry for us every night, which was outstanding. Boston College has been a tremendous impact on my life. It's a place at which I spent most of my formative years uh, and I'm incredi uh, incredibly grateful that I ended up at BC. You know, I remember visiting BC with my dad. Uh, we came up to watch, uh, it was 93 and BC was playing Tulane and immediately I fell in love with the school. Just the atmosphere and I just knew it from day one that I really wanted to go here. I think one of the, the proudest moments I have is when I was about 20 years old and in Middleborough, Mass and run into a gentleman who found out I was Henry's grandson and he again he starts talking about remembering listening to the Sugar Bowl and the whole town is uh, kind of behind him 
and he blocks the kick and again he, he tells it like everybody went out in the street dancing and you know went crazy. Certainly as a coach you have a lot of people to thank and you can't do it by yourself. You know, no coach ever does anything by himself. From the day I got here at Boston College, I decided in the first recruiting dinner that we had that, that was there, that we were gonna be champions in the classroom, we were gonna be champions in the community, and we were gonna be champions on the football field. Your work embodies the essence of Boston College and provides inspiration, motivation, in current and future athletes. Your career defines our university motto, ever to excel. On behalf of Boston College, congratulations.